Smartest way to hire. Well, if you get them so alone for a few days. I mean, I, I, I'm in favor in. of. I mean, I'm pro environment, but the the, the in the limit. Uh, if you go if if you take environmentalism to an extreme, you start to view humanity as a plague on the surface of the earth, like a like a mold or something. Right. Um, and but it's, it's this is actually false. Uh, the earth could could take probably ten times the the current civilization. The, the population could be you could ten x the population without uh, destroying the rainforest. So the the, the the environmental movement, and I'm an environmentalist, uh, has gone too far. They've gone way too far. Um, you know, if, if you if you start thinking that that humans are bad, then the natural conclusion is humans uh, should die out. Now, I'm headed to an AI safety international sort of AI safety conference uh, later tonight, leaving in about three hours. Um, and um, I, don't know, I meet with the British Prime Minister and a number of other people. Um, so you have to say, like, how could AI go wrong? Well, if, if, if AI gets programmed by the extinctionists, it will, its utility function will be the extinction of humanity. Yeah, clearly. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, particularly if... They won't even think it's bad, like that guy. Right. Yeah. If you let it's AI... messed up. There's a lot of decisions that AI would make that would be very similar to eugenics. I mean, they would, well, there would be some radical changes in what people are allowed to and not allowed to do that allow them to survive that may be detrimental in terms of like pollution and things like that, but it may be the only solution they have in their area. I mean, maybe AI would come up with some sort of a different structure in terms of how they get power and resources, but... There's no shortage of power. Um, like we talked about solar power for cars. The, the, the issue is that cars just have a very low surface area. Um, but you, you could actually power the entire United States with uh, 100 miles by 100 miles of solar. Really? Yes. So you could just pick some dead spot that you fly which, over. Of which there are plenty. Cover that sucker up with right. solar panels and, and charge the whole country. Absolutely. 24-7. Well, you need batteries, but yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's not hard. I mean, uh, meaning it's like it's very feasible. Uh, in fact, uh, I mean, the, the the sun is converting uh, over four million tons of mass to energy every second, and it's no maintenance. That thing just works. We have a giant fusion reactor in the sky. That is the sun. In fact, people like someone's like, well, what about in you know, radiation? I'm like, the sun is literally a nuclear reactor in the sky. Yeah. Are you scared to go in daylight? <laughs> Rocks have radiation. Yes. Yeah. The, the r radiation risk is greatly uh, overestimated. You know, um, I always wonder why radiation is always bad in real life, but always awesome in comic books. <laughs> yeah, right? exactly. Like you get, no get bitten by a radioactive spider and suddenly you have spider abilities. Get hit with gamma rays. You've I come mean, the Hulk. What if you're a radioactive cockroach? You'd be like the cockroach man. Yeah, you can <laughs> be one of the X-Men. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it, I, I think the the problem is like most people just don't understand what radiation is, and so it just sounds like a mysterious, invisible death ray. Well, it's almost like um, drugs. Like we think of it, we put a blanket over it. Like it's all one thing. You know, radiation is Chernobyl. You know, right. Right? I mean, the things you can go to, you can actually tour Chernobyl right now. So can clearly, you really? Yes. You you can actually go to you where can, the meltdown. Well, I mean, there's a war zone, but apart enough? from that, the the, the issue oh, yeah. is uh, you know more getting shot than it is you, there's, you don't have a radiation risk uh, I mean but the, the problem is like I think when people don't understand what radiation is they, they just they can't see it they can't feel it they think well I could just die at any moment like from a magic death ray right um, you know I've had people say like oh the radiation from their phone is going to hurt them or they're scared of the microwave 